Hello, welcome. Uh, we're going to create a headline generator. Uh, the data or the information that I got from this is for this is from Landing Folio. Uh, go check them out. Um, they have this great headline formulas ebook. Um, I'm using the free version. If you want more formulas, they have like 200 headlines. Um, they're selling that ebook. And also, uh, the guy who created Landing Folio, Danny, is also creating headline. By the time you watch this, it, headline might be. Uh, already operational, but if not, you can go over to headline.io and sign up for their uh, headline generator. So actually, funny enough, what I'm doing here is a very um, light version of what I think he's doing at headline, and, uh, but I'm not really going to um, do much of what he's doing there. This is just to show you how to use Google Sheets to make something like this. From this, you could probably, after you watch this video, you could probably make something like um, sentence generators or if your own headline generators, if you have your own formulas, um, you can come up with topic ideas. This is actually a really interesting way. If you have a couple of key terms or keyword um, keywords and you want to generate, um, say, 10, 20, 30, or 100 ideas, and you know the formulas and you just sort of enter it. You can do something like this, which I created like that is like a web app, or you can even create like a worksheet for your own internal processes or internal business if you want. Uh, so here's the idea. We have these um, sort of topics or named areas to um, fill in. And once we fill those in, we get headlines, something like, uh, and they're based on formulas. So here you see an audience and an undesirable income or a product or solution. And so a very typical headline might be designers, are your websites not working? Um, or developers, are your websites not working? You know, we can do developers in here. And here's some examples for you. Developers, are your websites not working? Very simple. How to master some product in the shortest time possible. How to master cold lead outreach in the shortest amount of time possible product for someone. So code lead outreach for developers. Or if we take in designers, we can go here. Uh, it'll say code lead outreach for designers. Right. So once we enter this, these items, and this is only six, we're generating here, we're going to generate uh, six headlines. But you can also generate many more. You'll see these formulas. You can. Uh, I'll show you how to make more um, than this. And here is the one key thing we're going to do in very interesting today is we are going to name ranges. Um, and this is going to help us understand or help us generate more uh, headlines or outcomes than we ever imagined because we'll be able to easily remember what this cell is. So this is D6 and we might not remember, okay, settings exclamation point D6, we can actually name this range and then use that in formulas. How we do that, let's go here, uh, is named ranges. So it's in data, named ranges, and I've already created a few, audience, outcome, and product. And for our purposes, for this particular case, it's a, it's a single cell. And you wouldn't necessarily think like audience is that much different than settings exclamation point D6. Like if, if you know, okay, audience is there, then I just have to type in settings exclamation point D6. But what ends up happening is once we know it's an easy to know word, the formulas are going to know it consistently all again. And we'll remember it much easier so we can come back to this and be like, oh, yeah, I can add 10 to 12 more headlines very easily by using this formula. The other two formulas I'm going to be using is concatenate. So I'm going to use named range. Uh, I'm going to show you concatenate and proper to get a title case. So we want all of our headlines capitalized. But the main thing we're going to do right now is named ranges. So how I've set this up is actually this column B is nothing. It's just some text. Um, but this result is um, a concatenation of audience, then the phrase are your, and then the uh, named range of outcome and then a question mark. So let me build uh, this one. Get something like authority without the pain points. And if you look over here, we have audience, outcome, and product. We don't have the other one. So I'll show you how to name ranges. So we have what? D12. So I just have that selected and I click add a range and I'm going to call this something. Done. Then I'm going to go to D14. This is authority. Add a range. And look how 
authority. Very, very simple. And then this is D16, and we'll just do paint. Done. So you can name it as, as short or as long as you want. And then we come over here, and now we're going to do equals concatenate. Now we're going to add them together. So something, we literally just type something, and now it changes color so we know it is grabbing the right thing. We put um, space like space in quotation marks and another comma authority. It changes colors. And then we go space without the, actually I'm going to take out the, without end exclamation or end quotation mark and then paint and it changes color. So now we have get a body like Arnold Schwarzenegger without going to the gym. And that was over here. Get a body, Arnold Schwarzenegger going to the gym. And we can also add title case to it. So we go proper, because it's a headline, and we just wrap it in uh, summation points. And now we have a copy and pasteable um, item. So one thing I would say is if you want to be able to copy and paste this within Google Sheets, so if I copy this cell and paste it within Google Sheets, it's going to copy the formula. What I could also do is insert to the right results. Let me just call it results. And I'm going to do array formula up here. Actually, do array formula. And just do D2 to D. And now I just have the text. So one thing is, and I hate to do this, I, do, I don't do this very often, but you can hide the column here. And what's going to happen is every single time you go and see this, you're going to be like, what's here? You're going to open it up. You're like, oh, right, I remember. So I wouldn't recommend doing this. I recommend if you do this way, if you add this little uh, array formula and you want just text for someone else, maybe to copy it instead of having to copy and paste values, like I just paste values, this... This, uh, sorry, this uh, column can go on a separate sheet and you can call it work or don't touch this or something you can even protect it and then make this one just the only uh, formula on this entire sheet if you wish. So that's a little bit of a better um, item to, that you can do. Uh, one thing to make this sheet a little bit better. Now let's do the next one. Um, how, so this is going to be equals concatenate. So let's just put the proper there first, proper concat so we don't have to come back concatenate and now we want how to space end and then we're going to do something comma like and then we're going to do authority let's see what that looks like how to get a body like Arnold Schwarzenegger great now how can you so here equals proper concatenate Concatenate. Uh, We're going to how can you space something then without and there you go. There's another one. So now we have literally three items here and we have any number of different um, formats that we can do. We can add 10 more with the same items here and we only have to enter six items and we can get you know dozens and dozens of headlines based on this and this is just using named ranges it's using concatenate and proper um, one extra thing you can do to this and I will put it into another video is um, you can create drop down menus here so um, we will I'll do that in, in the second video but I'll do headline generator with drop down menus that's what it'll be called if you are looking for the next video. Bye.